So our buddy is gone, and I don't know what to do. How's it going, everyone? I'm just talking to David, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Um, I did keep in mind there's a there was a note that basically, uh, from a while ago that said don't interact with specific things, but I don't remember what that. Wait, what? Why is the door locked? Psycho is able to get out. Why can't I? Closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. Um, excuse me? What? But if it's not locked, why won't it open? Okay, there's the horror part of the horror game. Hi! Hello? Are those children? Let's go on a field trip together over. Who's talking? Hello? Teacher? I know I failed, uh. I know I failed the third grade and tried to skip it, but, I mean, <laughs> my head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Uh. <laughs> okay, so all this is basically... No! Kitties? Bad kiddos. Bad. No, okay. I, let me out. 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 The door is... Why is there black hair all over the door? Is there a knife in here? Can I cut this off so I can get out? Is someone there? It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Is that the desk? Yep. Hi! I know I did bad. Leave me alone. Look, I... I know I stole the apple that was on your desk, but I was in desperate need of food. Stay away. I, I was I was a bad... elementary schooler. There's kindergartner, there's preschooler, high schooler, middle schooler, what, elementary schooler? I, I don't know. I was, a, I was a bad school child, okay? This is why I got suspended from third grade. <laughs> oh god, stay away from me. Stay back. What the? What the? Uh oh. Back, teach. Back. Back. Get me out of here. No use. Where did this hair come from? God help me. Try using a match to burn the hair. Sure. The flame wasn't strong enough. What the hell? Do I have anything else in my inventory? No, just a box of match. Ah, you okay? Never mind. I was gonna say you can't get me, but you you escaped. Haphazardly scrawled shorthand begins appearing in the journal on the desk, as if being written by unseen hands. The letters are so mishappened 
misshapen. Wow, I can I can read. Letters are so misshapen and inconsistent, however, that they're completely illegible. Okay, what's in here? Can I use something in here? Yeah, I know what's in here. Take the bottle of rubbing alcohol. Actually, yeah. I know what to use. Oh, okay. Now, okay. Now the matches will do something. And I'm trapped. Yay. Come over here. Ha. You're stuck. Ha. Ha. The door. Okay. That was the hair with rubbing alcohol? Yes. After hastily splashing alcohol along the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match in an attempt to burn through the seemingly endless strands of hair. Hallelujah! Let's get the hell out of here! Harry's situation. Trophy urn. With a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul-smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened and fell away the door and allowing it to open. Let's get the hell out of here. Gone. Bye. Jeez, don't go in that room. Otherwise, I'll be punished by the teach for being a bad schoolboy. That's the word I was looking for. Schoolboy. Schooler. <laughs> How did I get that term? This schooler is a bad person. <laughs> Okay, Naomi, stop. Breathe. I'm going to kill you. Uh, who speaks? Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh Um who's there? Okay, good. It's just psycho. Okay. <laughs> that is a phrase I thought I'd never say in my life. Tell me, what happened? Are you okay? She said it first. Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? I don't apologize for barfing. You f but, I'm, but I'm a bad schooler. I'm supposed to apologize for everything I do. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. Yeah, that's true. Need me to rub your back? Does that actually help? I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Uh-uh. Ha-uh. Does that mean no or yes? Looks like we really are the only two people here. I doubt that, but oh no. The only two living people anyway. Living people anyway. This place is just way too quiet. But you, Naomi. Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. Or apparition. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so? I should consider giving that apple we took back. I, I know it's probably rotten by now, but, um... Us being bad school children kind of bit us in the butt, so, Psycho, where's the apple? <laughs> eh, 
it's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. Wow, psycho. I guess you better keep moving then. Can you stand? Yeah. But where are we supposed to go? That's a good question. Hmm. Well, we've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. The only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it! There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. And I'm so tired. Acting like a child again. Yeah! Again, I never... Gra you never... We... Third grade was never graduated. Of course you're gonna act like a child. You're basically a freaking third grader. Schooler. Kid. Naomi. Naomi! Come on! It's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Class 2... Class 2 Niners never say die, right? What? We're invincible. You could have just said that last line, we'd be fine. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, let's say you and I get our bikes fixed. Fixed. I can't speak. See? I'm a freaking third grader. Bad one at that, too. Sounds like a plan, right? Uh. If we make it back alive, sure. Oh, boy. This is psycho. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you, like... Super duper tired or something? This is so not like you. Okay, Psycho, shut up. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Okay. Haven't heard that phrase. Uh. Okay, you guys probably couldn't hear it, but there was like wind going on in the background. It just went dead silent. Um. Hell's got you so chipper. Uh, hmm? just keep smiling and laughing. Oh God, this can't end well. D do I? Tell me. How long is it that? How long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out. That's a crock. And you know it. Wow. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. Thought I'd be keeping Psycho's spirits up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was berating her. Abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. It's like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out, rationally. I couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth as if someone had turned on a spigot. I haven't heard that in a while. I haven't heard that word in a very long time. All I could do was moan. Plain and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure my families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. Wow, Naomi, what the hell? It'll be a terrible burden for them. What the hell, Naomi? You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, 
You cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can. Whatever you can. Make her proud. You just want to. So you do. Smart words. What's wrong with me? Psycho's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that. So why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. Shut up, Naomi! I don't, I, know, I don't know how it is with you and your family, but normal people don't work that way. Sorry. How about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help get us out of here. What the hell, Naomi? Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who... Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and you and everybody else. I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. Most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Duh! Apologize! S Psycho, I, I, I'm, I'm so... Sorry to, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. Uh, no! It's a horror game, no! I'll go this way. Uh, what the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. I'd heard her loud and clear, though. She was trying her hardest to keep my spirits up. Trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at the moment... The way I was at that moment, Psycho was just a little too bright for me. So bright that it hurt. Wow. So, in this nexus of closed spaces... Where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed. Two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place. Were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy toward Psycho would come to be the biggest regret of my life. As the consequences of that heated exchange far more dire than I ever could have imagined. Oh no. Good job, dumbass! I don't need to read any of that. She already did it. That jerk. Okay, now I'm playing as Psycho. Um. Wow. That was a dick move, Naomi. Is this the one with the save point? No, it's not. Okay. Um. Let's just push forward. I mean, we've already been everywhere here. Where else am I supposed to go? can't move. I think I just heard somebody calling out. Follow the voice. Gee, it's a horror game. Um, a voice.
voice calls out. Gee, I wonder if I should follow it. Totally won't lead to my doom. Let's do it. Sure. Hello? That was the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. And now we're on Naomi's side of things. From, that moment, from the moment Psycho and I parted ways, the fear I had been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. Felt like something else was in my head. Like I was under some alien influence. In my mentally distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Psycho. Just kept calling her name over and over again. Oh boy. Strangely, I have no memory of where I was during this time. I just ran as if in a daze. Unaware of and unconcerned with my surroundings. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. How? Psycho! Psycho, where are you? Come on, Psycho! I'm going to be by myself in here. I mean, this is what you get for being the way you were. Um, excuse me? Psycho? you? Oh, no. There's a screenshot I remember seeing at a point. If this confirms the screenshot that I think it is... Uh... Nope. I, I don't want to. Not this episode. Gonna leave this here. Next episode, if, if what I'm thinking is gonna happen... I'm not going to like what's in the room behind me. But we'll find out next time. And if I am right, beginning of next episode is going to be a doozy. One way or the other, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Corpse Party. Uh, the remake. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. And so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked this video, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for... A, for a horror RPG or just a horror game in general you'd like to see on here, let us know in the comments below. Want to check out one that's been done, that this train visited prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right hand corner, train to take you to that destination. Or if you missed any stops on this particular ride, click the link across right here and the train to take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!